let's see if we can do this in one take. This is a PCM tuner. This is a Scanmatic 2 Pro. These things will allow you to flash via OBD and also run J2354, I think, uh, diagnostics. And uh, they will allow you to run with PCM flash. They will also allow you, unlike a uh, open port, this will allow you to bench flash, all right? And while I have this up, this is a clone, okay? This is gonna be about $100 for US stock. And you can see the cloniness and how it sounds. You can also see how there's only like two switches here instead of three. And then the wiring isn't quite as high end as the original. So you can get an original for about $378 or the clone in the US for about 100. The PCM tuner, these prices are kind of all over the place. I've seen them as expensive as like $300 um, in the US, and I'm not sure this is worth it. I mean, uh, to me, you can see on the back, they both even have the same marking as 2.21, uh, 0.22. I mean, these are, this is going to be recognized in your computer as a schematic too. This is a schematic too. So they put this inside of this and added like a help online help thing, right? And they kind of, you know, have a little bit of a different uh, layout. Like you have the power here instead of through the cables on the schematic. And um, yeah, so that is the PCM tuner. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I've heard some people actually say they're maybe even a little bit less reliable than Scanmatic 2. My electrical engineering uh, isn't super high uh, proficiency, so I'm not even going to attempt to take these apart and talk about the PCB. But uh, I think they're very equivalent, and in general, the Chinese Scanmatic 2 Pro clones are very good now. You used to have to get like very specific ones to be useful. Now they're they're pretty much useful across the board. However, you still might want to get an original one just because, you know, the cables are nicer. These sort of like rattle a little bit, like this is coming off. If you have a nice high-end shop and people are around, you might want that. Or if you just appreciate nice things or you want to support the creator. All right, let's f focus on the software these really use because there is an ECU help version of, you know, for this. But what this is actually going to use in terms of flashing a car is going to be PCM flash. And that's the same as this. And we'll have a whole video just on PCM Flash, but they both run on PCM Flash. There are going to be different protocols often for bench versus OBD, so make sure you're aware of that. For example, Mercedes will have a different bench protocol often than a OBD protocol. So just be aware of that. It, you, know, you might have to look at exactly what you want. If you're buying original, you're just going to probably want to get a few um, like specific protocols. They might be like two or $300 to unlock all the cars of a specific protocol. Sometimes they don't have the files on the internet um, for virtual read. Like if you're trying to OBD something off of a PCM flash, they might not have the, uh, you know, the original software on the, har on the server. But what you can do is you can bench flash it and then you can send it to PCM flash and they will upload the original for that. So if you want to do that, please do help out the community and then let us focus on a little bit about the clone version of uh, the PCM Flash. PCM Flash comes in two, it is an original and a clone. The only reason why we're talking about this in this video is because this is a clone and this is like a clone of a clone, I guess. Um, so the original one of these can work on both a clone PCM Flash and it can work on the original PCM flash. So the clone can work on the original and the hacked. The original can work on the hacked and the clone. So you'll see people do that. Uh, maybe they just, you know, want to have an original PCM flash, uh, you know, for better support or, you know, newer cars or whatever, and they'll run, uh, you know, like a clone of this. And sometimes you'll see vice versa. People might need uh, like a clone uh, PCM flash for like a car they don't, often use, you know, maybe for the cars they use often, they'll have the protocols bought, uh, but, you know, they'll just have like a backup. You can use an original schematic with the clone software. So I just wanted to go over those things. If you want to help, uh, if you want help with these, uh, feel free to, you know, drop a question below. If you want to know where to buy them, how to buy them, track out tunemercedes.com. We do have a lot of tuning tools 
and we are based in the United States, and we can provide some support with them. Uh, you know, we can't teach you how to tune if you just buy one of these, but we do have tuning classes and tuning, like tutoring, tutoring support. So, you know, feel free to, you know, inquire about that if you'd like to. So thank you guys for watching. Um, these are very, very important tools. You probably will want like a KESS and maybe a KT200 or a Fox Flash. And we'll talk about like auto tuner too. So we'll go through each level and we'll just keep bringing you some tool reviews on tuning. All right, guys, thanks.